With the Z Modeler brush selected, hover over a poly and press spacebar to open up the Z Modeler poly menu. Locate the polygroup action. Underneath the polygroup action, you'll see a series of targets and then a series of modifiers down at the bottom, which will determine how the actual polygroup will be applied. By default, the polygroup is set to a target of a single poly and one group ID. With it set like this, just hover over a poly and click, and you will generate a new polygroup on the poly you click on. At any time, if you want to change the polygroup that you are applying, just simply click and hold, and while holding your pen to your tablet or your mouse button down, tap Alt and it will cycle to a new polygroup. Then you can continue on clicking and assigning polygroups. If you come across a time when you want to actually keep this polygroup here and apply it elsewhere, simply come over a polygroup you want to copy, click, and while clicking and holding the mouse or pen down, hold Shift and you will now copy that polygroup. Now with this polygroup copied, now simply click on any other polygroups and that polygroup will be applied. To do that function one more time, just hover over a polygroup you want to copy, click and then hold shift and that will now store that polygroup in the Z Modeler brush and now when you click again it will apply that polygroup. Now if I hit spacebar to open up the Z Modeler poly menu again, down here you have quite a few more options or modifiers for the actual polygroup action. These ones down here will automatically generate polygrouping based on the surface of your model. So if I come to the target here and select all polygons instead of a single poly, then I'm going to come through and select three sides. Now if I come to my model and just click on any poly, it's going to apply new polygrouping across the entire model and give me a polygroup per axis. So I'm getting a polygroup down the X, a polygroup down a Y, and a polygroup down the Z. So you can see these areas that are all facing the Z direction right through here are all the same polygroup. And then the ones that are actually down the X axis are all the same polygroup. Now there is another option which is six sides. And this will do a similar process to the polygrouping you just saw except for the fact that it will apply a different polygroup on the positive X and the negative X and a different polygroup on the positive Y and the negative Y and a different polygroup for the positive Z and the negative Z. If you go back into Spacebar, you have a few other options in here, and these will just vary your polygrouping based on different procedures. So you have topological, poly order, point order, relative plus one, relative minus one, and checker. The checker option is pretty interesting because it will apply a checkered polygroup across your mesh. If you would like to change the checker that it's actually applying, just click, and while you're clicking, tap Alt, and you will get a new checkered polygroup applied to your model. Finally, you have modifiers down here, which is the additive and the pick existing. These are the same processes we kind of just explained, but the actual buttons for them. So if you'd like to pick an existing polygroup rather than holding shift, you can come down here and select it like so. You also have an option for the amount of coverage to apply the polygroup to, and this will just determine the coverage based on your actual angle values that appear on your model. So you just come through and apply different polygroups to your models as needed, and then using these different targets of polygroup options here, you can use these polygroups to further deform your model as you work.